Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Yeah, I'm getting back to work. I've been loafing. Been loafing just a little. Had to take me a last little break before we bomb these things out. <laughs> I guess you can call it. I did have to go get supplies. I didn't have nothing. But anyway. That's all the explanations you get. Oh, I guess I might as well tell you this and show you what I did yesterday. <laughs> okay, we know all my buddies are getting phonies. Pete got him a habu. Wes got him a habu. John's getting one, and not a habu. We got something else. <laughs> I was clicking around on them ads. On our uh, videos there, okay, I got this for 50 bucks, and it was a kid, and it's, uh, it was a little Christmas present to myself, I could say, 50 bucks, nitroplanes.com, baby, and uh, it was a kit, though, it didn't have nothing in it, you know I got a couple crash foamies in there, <laughs> Uh, so what I did is it came with this little bitty old tiny fan unit, little tiny 64 millimeter. Uh, the impeller <laughs> blade is almost comical, <laughs> it's about almost comical, man. It's like a rubber band wind up thing or something. <laughs> I don't know, it's got like a 3 kV motor. <laughs> but I was watching videos on YouTube and these things are turds with them fan units in it. Just turds. Remember that F86 I had? With that 69 millimeter E flight fan unit? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Guess what motor I got in it? Like a 52 kV ARC. Oh yeah. Good on 5 volts, 6 volts. Experimental. <laughs> but uh. I had all the stuff. Check this out. Then we'll get to work. Dang it. I, uh, that fan unit wouldn't fit. Okay, I had to do a lot of carving inside. A lot of carving. It's actually in the bottom. It's glued in. I had to take the mounts off and glue it in. And, uh, that little motor cap there, I had to do a lot of sanding on that too. What I did is I took a piece of sandpaper and I wrapped it around another fan unit I got and got that hole all wallered out, man, with some 36 grit. Got it in there, glued it in, and uh, it's good to go. It's in there. It's in there. <laughs> okay. Then I had a big old 100 amp speed controller, so I threw it in there. Uh, I had this battery, had that F35, five cell baby, and uh, my receiver. So I didn't have to buy nothing. 50 bucks, man. And this thing's going to be ballistic. Can't wait to fly it. <laughs> this thing is going to be fast. It is going to be fast. Okay, Sammy, I'll let you out. But enough playing with the foamies. Yeah, yeah, I can I couldn't put this fan unit in there. Them blues are pretty fast. I couldn't put this fan unit in there and have all them rookies blazing by my foamy. <laughs> How embarrassing. You know what I mean? Them blues are pretty nice little things, but I'll tell you what. Nitro planes right there beside you, just click on it. 50 bucks. It's a concept box. I ordered it. We, we ordered it last Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. Ordered them last week. Got here within a week. Got three different colors. Concept X. I've seen them on YouTube though, and they're turds with them little fan units, man. That is just too small of a fan. They fly. And they're cheap, but they're turds. 
you want to do some hot rod and you got to put what I did I'll show you what I did then we'll get on the, the Thunder Chiefs on that other fan unit go what was right here oh here it is now this is a 69 millimeter out of uh a foam, uh, another foamy I had, and you see it's it's quite a bit bigger. That E flight is just the, the same big around, but it's longer. Okay. So what I did, what piece of sand I took some of this 36 grit. You get it at the auto parts store that's got the sticky tape on it. Just stuck it to this fan unit and just stuck it in there and wallered out that hole, baby. <laughs> Got me a big old fan unit in that thing. And I tell you what, I was really quite impressed. I got to show you one more thing. It has these carbon spars right there. But it's also got them inside the wing. You can see them in these little slots. It's got a carbon spar runs through the wing. Carbon spar back here in the tail. Carbon spar in the vertical. I like the way the servos mount. And, uh, and it's, I think it's going to be a nice little foamy. Bad thing is with that big old battery up front. I'm going to stick some lead in the back. But it's still, I think it's going to fly pretty good. For 50 bucks. Oh, and I also got to show you this. Okay, we'll just make this a nitro plane deal. If you guys want to learn how to fly. You know, I got my cousin. Been showing up old Lewis. And you know, I ain't seen him in 20 years. But he's been coming around and he loves this stuff. So I got him something for Christmas. Bam! Nitro planes got these simulators. Twenty dollars. Uh, this one was. This one's the seven channel, or the six channel, and it was only uh, seventeen. Seventeen dollars. And Wes got one of these a couple weeks ago. And shoot, it's it, it works pretty good. You can download a bunch of planes for it. That one old boy that uh, sent us them links. Got all kinds of cool shit on there. So when I ordered this, I said, what the hell? Oh, Lewis loves this stuff, man. So I got him that for Christmas. But $20, 17 And then uh, with these two together, two separate boxes, it was only $14 shipping. <sighs> Can't beat that with the stick. So that's my Christmas <laughs> presents. One to me, one to my cousin, Louie. I like Louie, I always have. But he was actually, I went to uh, school with him. Junior high, all that, Louis, and uh, him and his brother. Okay. Then, uh, get this, he married my cousin, Stephanie. And uh, we was pretty close. That's when me and Deb first got married. Before we had kids, we used to hang out with them. Louis plays in a band. Uh, we always had a really good time. Then kind of Lewis and Stephanie got divorced, and uh, Lewis kind of faded away into his bachelorism. <laughs> I just want to go watch this video. <laughs> I just didn't see him for a long time. I always liked Lewis. He's a good guy. And, uh, oh yeah, we got back in touch. Actually, me and Deb was eating lunch at a restaurant. Oh, it's been a year ago. And I bumped into him. And we exchanged numbers and never really got a hold of each other. Well, about a couple, three weeks ago, I was calling a friend of mine and I accidentally hit Lewis's number that I had in my phone. <laughs> and we got to talking and then he came out to the slime field last weekend. Man, Wes did uh, the same boo-boo that I do, that I've done. He uh, hit the wrong button on the recorded F-16. That was the best landing I ever did to that one, that nose gear collapsed. 
But we'll be back with some more Bob TV. People saying Bob time. Saying Bob.